It has been seen that many people doubt if the batter hits the wicket and the ball goes to the boundary, it will not be a hit wicket. Questions about this were common in the comments until recently. Certain videos explaining this law have led many people to develop this misconception. A hit wicket is when the striker hits the stumps when he receives the ball, prepares to receive it, or when tries for the first run. After the action of playing that shot is completed, even if he or she hits the wicket, it will not be a hit wicket. When the stumps are broken after a shot, it's the umpire's discretion to decide whether it occurred after playing a shot, was it a part of the follow-through of that shot, or whether it happened when the bat was taken back after the action had completed. The umpire will adjudge out or not out accordingly. Regarding the boundary, the moment the ball crosses the boundary line, the ball becomes dead. What happens after that is irrelevant. This means that once the ball crosses the boundary, there's no need for anyone to worry about whether the stump broke or not. But one thing should be noted. The situation remains different until the ball crosses the boundary. The striker prepares for the shot, plays the shot, and attempts to run for the first run. All these happen before the ball crosses the boundary. Thus, if he or she hits the stump during this time, the striker is out and the ball becomes dead. At this point, the boundary is a situation that arises once the ball is dead. Thus, whether or not the ball crossed the boundary is irrelevant there. Now think about it. In a normal cricket ground, isn't it more probable that a hit wicket happens before the ball crosses the boundary than after? Aren't all the chances of a hit wicket eliminated long before the ball crosses for a 6 or a 4? So the striker is likely to be out on almost every occasion. Now suppose that there are 6 or 4 on our turfs toward the backside. Or suppose that there are grounds with such a small boundary at the back. In that situation, the ball will cross the boundary in a fraction of a second. It is only in these scenarios where the boundary is in that position that there is a possibility of not having a hit wicket.